Bookmap's liquidity tracker indicator displays either the sum or average of liquidity on the bid, on the ask, and the difference between the two. The results are plotted in Bookmap's subchart and widget panel. Therefore, the indicator can display potential imbalances between buyers and sellers. The liquidity tracker was developed in Bookmap's API, thus anyone with Java knowledge can create indicators just like this. Note this is the initial release of the indicator and improvements are still being made. Check the Bookmap form for the latest updates. To run the liquidity tracker, download and install the latest Beta 7 version of Bookmap. Then go to the bookmap.com slash forum. Click on the Bookmap API forum. Then introducing liquidity tracker thread here. You'll find the information about the indicator. Then click on the download link here. Once downloaded, open Bookmap and go to Settings, API Plugins Configuration. Then click on the Add button. Find the downloaded JAR file and open it. Then check the box here and click on the text here. Now let's go through the various settings. Here you can change the color and line settings. Under Output Settings, you can input the computation frequency and smoothing. Next, choose whether you want to display the average liquidity size per price level or the sum of all price levels. The computation mode section allows users to set weighting on the indicator output. For example, the first setting uniformly weighs each price level the same. You can choose how many levels you'd like to compute or use full depth if your data provider offers it. Or you can choose to have the price levels exponentially weighted. If selected, you can choose the half-life or 50% cutoff level from the dropdown. For example, if you choose 10, then each level's weighting decreases in value exponentially, and the 10th level will be exactly 50% or the half-life of the entire computation. Note this computation is generated for the entire available depth. With the sigmoid weighted option, you can select specific nodes to determine the range of the weighted computation. Let's go through an example. If I choose 5 for the first node, then the first 5 levels are uniformly computed without weight. However, if I choose 15 for the second node, then the weight of the computation linearly decreases from the first node to the second node. In the section below, the filtering settings will be released soon. Note they will only work with CME instruments and rhythmic data. Now let's go through an example of the output in the bookmap subchart and widget panel. In my settings, you can see I selected smoothing with 10 seconds and the average size per price level. I've also selected the exponential weighting with the half-life of 10 levels. The subchart output is displaying only the difference or delta between the bid minus the ask liquidity. The widget output is displaying the bid and ask liquidity as well as the difference between the two. You can customize your settings for these panels by clicking here. In general, the indicator provides true measurements of liquidity. We can see precisely where liquidity was added or pulled from both the bid and the ask and the difference between the two. Note this indicator isn't a buy-sell signal. It is to be used as confluence at specific areas.